Good friend Terrell Davis. Uh, we share the same birthday. I don't know if many people know that. Uh, what's it feel like to be back in Colorado uh, after the big news? That man, uh, it's great. First of, of all, first of all, my man, look at him, man. He's got a mic in his hand. Steve is doing his thing, man. Hey, I am so proud of him. This is this is my dude. What people don't know is my rookie year. Um, you would help me a lot. I tell people this. So, you know, while we're doing our little team periods, you would come to me and you would give me advice on what you saw from me, whether it was tipping off something with the run, with my eyes, or whatever, or my head was too low, too low. Steve would always help me out. So this is my big brother, man. I'm proud of him. Uh, now your question was, how does it feel to be here? Right. It feels great. Right. Beautiful Colorado weather hasn't it, changed a bit. It, it feels great. You know what, Steve, every time I see training camp, the first – thing you get in your mind is could you still play today mm -hmm. we all I know you, you we ask ourselves that question I know the answer to it though I well can't. I know I know the answer <laughs> but we asked ourselves that question because mentally I think I can still play yeah it's the physical part that I don't think you look pretty good man you look like you can yeah yeah that don't let the smooth taste fool you right, Steve right, right. um you know how it is man yeah I, I couldn't play out here but it's, it's great to see the guys and and seeing training camp because this really represent a new start for everybody Right. And it, I, I distinctly remember being in training camp thinking that, why not us? Right. Why, exactly. not, why, not th why not this being the year that we take it to a Super Bowl? Exactly. And I think all of these guys here, they feel the same way about the journey. Forget what everybody else says about this team. They, this team, I mean, I think they can do whatever they want to do. I mean, obviously, if they get a few things right on offense. But I think it's a great time for them. Uh, everybody's excited, and they're very optimistic about the future, which is good. Right now, how does it feel, uh, and what do you what do you think about being the the fifth player in the history of the organization yeah. to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame? Man, it's I mean, it feels great. It, it really does. It just it's hard to put into words what it actually means because if I say it, you know, it's great, it's wonderful. I don't think those words, you know, accurately describe how I feel. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's just a feeling, man, that you you never. I don't think I've ever experienced. Like I've won Super Bowls, we've won Super Bowls, and it, it's not that feeling. It's it's different because it's happened so late. You know, you're done playing. You everything's already in, you know, in in the, in the barn as they say, and all of a sudden they look up and say, "Hey, we appreciate what you did 16 years ago. So we're going to give you an award, the, the the biggest award you can possibly ask for, and enshrine you into football immortality." Exactly. And it's like, wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. It's hard for me to put my mind, wrap my mind around it, because I never, grew, I didn't grow up thinking about the Hall of Fame or saying that's something I want to do. It just, it happened. What type of pants go with the gold jacket? Oh, that's a great question. That is a great one, man. Um, I don't know. You're gonna be looking good. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm gonna go home today and then uh, I'll figure it out tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully. All right, Terrell thank Davis, you, Davis. Thank you very much. Great seeing you. Good to see you, man. Yes, yes. <laughs>